Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to learn the word problems of subtraction. So let's begin. Now let's see the first problem. Tina has 695 rupees. She gave 270 rupees to her sister. How much money is left with Tina? So what we are going to do? First we are going to write the statements. Okay. Now first I will write Tina has how many rupees? She has 695 rupees. So let's write here. Tina has how much? 695 rupees. Okay. Now she gave 270 rupees to her sister. So how much she gave to her sister? She gave 270 rupees. Okay. Now how much money is left with Tina? Left with means how much is remaining with her. So we are going to do subtraction here. Okay. First she had this much then she gave this much. So whatever is left with her. So we are going to find it out by using subtraction. So let's do the minus here. Now here 5 minus 0 is 5. 9 minus 7 is 2. And 6 minus 2 is 4. So, they have asked how much money is left with Tina. So, we are going to write this in a statement form for the answer. Okay. We will write Tina is left with 425 rupees. 425 rupees. Okay, whatever is the last statement given in the question, from that we have to make the statement for the answer. Okay, so Tina is left with 425 rupees. The next problem, there are 564 students in a school. Of them, 275 are boys. How many girls are there in the school? So, first let us write the total. Total how many students are there? 564 students. So, the number of students is how much? 564. Okay, this is the total number of students. Then how many boys are there? Let's write. Boys, there are 275 boys. Okay, now how many girls will be left? So, we have to do the minus because from the total we are removing the number of boys so we will get the number of girls so let's do the minus now here from 4 we cannot remove 5 so we are going to take a so we are going to borrow from the next number so this is 14 this will cancel and become 5 ok now 14 minus 5 is how much 9 so let's write here 9 now from 5 also we cannot remove 7 ok from 5 we cannot subtract 7 so again we are going to take we are going to borrow from the next number and we are going to cut this and it will become 4 so 15 minus 7 is how much 2 now let's write here 8 ok now 4 minus 2 is 2 ok so 289 289 what girls ok so, how many girls are there in the school? Now, what, what is the statement I am going to write here? There are 289 girls in the school. Okay. There are 289 girls in the school. Okay. Now, let's do the next problem. There are 989 books in the library. 347 books were distributed among students. How many books are left in the library? So, let's write firstly, there are 989 books in the library. So, total number of books is how much? 989. So, total number of books is how much? 989. Okay. Now, 347 books were distributed. So, the books that were distributed is how much? 347. 
okay now how many books are left in the library so are left means we have to do minus so we have, we have to do the subtraction okay now 9 minus 7 is 2 8 minus 4 is 4 and 9 minus 3 is 6 so how many books are left in the library there are 642 books left in the library okay there are 642 books left in the library okay now let's see the next problem there are 469 animals in zoo 1 if 234 are shifted to another zoo how many animals are left in zoo 1 okay now the total number of animals are how many 469 animals are there in zoo 1 now out of them how many are shifted to other zoo 234 animals are shifted to other zoo so how many will be left let's do the subtraction 9 minus 4 is 5 6 minus 3 is 3 and 4 minus 2 is 2 so how many animals are left in zoo 1 now here the answer is 235 so 235 animals are left in zoo 1 ok after sh after shifting 234 animals 235 animals are left in zoo 1 ok if you enjoyed this video do give it a like share this video and subscribe to our channel bye